learn about the off-grid lifestyle and to be inspired to live your dreams, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell notification. So I was sitting here this morning watching this, my incinerator, it's a burn barrel, a big hole in it. I was incinerating, I had this filled up with popular tree, poplar tree, poplar tree branches. It's just blazing hot, making the pop crackle snap sound. And you, this thing works like a rocket stove. It sucks the air in and shoots a big old flame out. And I'm sitting here and it's like a fall morning. The trees are are turning colors and they're starting to drop. It's late August. It's a little early, I thought, but it's really starting to change colors. I don't know if you can see in the camera. I saw, I looked earlier and you can't really see the change in colors yet, but there's a lot of yellows in the trees. I can't get over the feeling. Now, I'm not a big fall, winter type of person. I really don't like fall and winter. The reason I don't like fall is because it's an indication that winter is coming. And here we have an early fall. I'm more of a spring, summer kind of person. But living here on the property, I really am looking forward to fall and winter. It's when I'm actually going to get to be able to do the most work, believe it or not. I can't go down in the woods and do a lot of cutting with firewood because of the snakes and the ticks and the spiders and all that. But in the wintertime, I'll be able to go down there all the time and I won't dehydrate. That was a, another big problem was dehydration. And so the breeze is coming in and there's a big storm coming and it really provides me a really good feeling. I was telling you, I got some poplar wood. Now, when I cut the poplar wood, I went to a mobile home park just down the road from us. And there was two poplar trees that had fallen over. They were still attached to the ground, but they were laying on the ground and the guy just needed to get them out of there. So they were still alive. I cut them up and I got, I think, a cord of wood, a cord and a half of wood, a poplar. And so many people thought that was just a terrible idea. Why waste your time with poplar? Poplar burns pretty fast and pretty hot. Well, I just showed you in the burn barrel, I got two logs in there and it's been in there for like two hours already. And they're just kind of still smoldering away. But the branches, my goodness, that, that's like a jet engine. My cat was sitting on the poplar wood, so I startled her. I got a feral cat. I really enjoy that cat. She doesn't get too close to me. She's getting tamer all the time, but I've been feeding her for several months now. And 4th of July, she got really timid and, and ran off for a few days, but she gets a little closer every day. Now she waits for me to get out of bed so I can feed her. Anyway, so she was sitting on top of the wood, so I thought I'd leave her alone. It's actually a he. I don't know why I keep calling it a she. <laughs> to me, cats are females and dogs are males. That's just the way I was raised. We always had a female cat and a male dog. So the poplar wood burns really fast and we'll use that in the fall time and, and spring when like like when you wake up in the morning it's 30 degrees outside but it's going to get up to 60 
you put that poplar in there, it'll burn pretty quick, get your camper warm or your house warm. And then in the afternoon, you won't need any wood. So we're really looking forward to using that. Now, the other thing nice about poplar is it will help start the fire quickly. So we'll use poplar to start it. And if you have to get up in the middle of the night to restoke the fire, if you throw one of those in there, you don't have to sit around waiting for it to catch on fire. It'll catch on fire pretty quick. And then you just throw some oak on top of it. That'll burn slow and hot. The BTUs of the poplar is about half of what oak is. So you'll burn twice as much is basically what you're going to do. But it really sure does do a good job for the incinerator. And uh, I'm glad we got it. The other thing I wanted to mention is the branches. Keep the branches on any of the trees you cut because you use it for everything. Campfires. We do campfires. Carolyn's been coming out and cooking outside a lot. And she'll use those branches to cook. We're going to make an outdoor wood oven out of just a regular electric oven. And we'll use the branches for that. The incinerator. So keep the branches. A lot of people just burn the branches. I noticed my neighbor, he burned all his branches. I would like to have gotten them before he did it, but I didn't realize he was doing it. We're cutting a tree down right now in the, in the city park. And I've stuck all the branches to the side. I'm going to go down there in the fall when the snakes are, are gone and pick all that up, bring it back up here. And it'll be pretty dry by the time I go get it, so I'll be able to use it right away. So like I was saying, I'm really looking forward to this fall. My life has gotten so much easier and so much better, and less stress since I've moved out here. Recently, I just gotten divorced. Well, I say recently, five, what, five or six years ago now, six years. Well, she left six years ago. It was a pretty tough time for me. That, and I was just starting a new job. I was a couple of years into a new job of production manager. The stress was just more than I could bear. A lot of negative feelings, a lot of negative thoughts, and I just, I just wasn't happy anymore. I enjoyed the job. I liked the job, but it just, I couldn't do it. It was too, too stressful. My boss hated me. And I'm going to get into this a little bit more. But he, I feel like he hated me. He did, well, he wasn't actually my boss. My boss's boss is what it was. Always wanted to fire me. Tried to fire me all kinds of times. But one way or another, my boss would protect me. Ended up getting transferred. Oh, the transfer was terrible. And then we decided to start the nomadic lifestyle. I guess the stress reduced a little bit, but it still was not what you would think it is. Oh, the constant camping trip. Oh, it's beautiful. You would think traveling the country would be perfect, but it's not. It, it's actually quite stressful. There's a lot of things that come with it that aren't talked about. Bad guys and having to move all the time. The ranger's always harassing you and having to deal with people. You, know, you never know who you're going to meet. And so it wasn't perfect. But sitting by this fire this morning was perfect. Of course, I'm doing a chore, but at the same time, it was like a campfire. It was perfect. So a co-worker of mine contacted me this morning. A co-worker from that job, it was so stressful, and the big boss hated me. He was always trying to fire me. The big boss is retiring. He's been trying to retire for years now, but I guess this is it, because they've actually put an ad out to, for, for his replacement. A co-worker contacted me and has asked me to apply for the position. Essentially, what she's asking me to do is step up two positions from where I was. Sorry about the coloring on the camera. Uh, it clouded up and all of a sudden the coloring went bad. I still wouldn't be the big boss. I mean, the, there's a board. This is a nonprofit, so there's a board. I think there's like 15 board members. So you actually work for the board. And I'm thinking, oh, what an honor that would be. It would be, it would be a great honor to, to do that. I just can't imagine going back to that kind of life. I mean, the pay would be amazing. You know, I'd have all, all the things that people dream about, big houses and lots of cars and swimming pool and all the great stuff. But I'm sitting here saying, no, I choose to live like this in a little camper or a little tiny house that we're building where I have to pump my own water into an IBC tank. I have to make my own electricity and on days that are cloudy like this, you wonder if you're going to make enough electricity to actually get through the night. Which means I might have to, you know, run a generator. Or... So there's a, a lot of to this, this inconvenience of life living out here. 
And I just can't help but feel that this, doing all this, is better than doing all that. Why do I want the stress, the constant negative feelings, the, the, the knots in the stomach and the worries? When all I really got to worry about is, is it cloudy today? No, this is it. This is the constant camping trip. I don't have the rangers to worry about either. I don't have strangers that are going to come by and bother me. I get to sit by a campfire anytime I want. I get to look forward to fall. I get to cut firewood in the winter. The whole perspective of life has changed for me. Changed for the better. And there's just no way I'm going to voluntarily give this up. I hope I can inspire you to follow your dreams and get away from the stress of life. Thanks for watching.